hope that the stream actually doesn't die this time. You know, it sure would be great if the stream didn't just die suddenly for reasons that apparently OBS cannot explain to me, but yes. Apparently it wanted me to reset the stream key, which I don't know why. Nothing has really changed that would require me to do that, and yet it wanted me to do that, but there we go, I've done it. And also, this guy died. And for killing him, we get something else. We go ahead and let the stream run for a little bit longer so that, okay, I can make sure that it's actually showing and it looks like it is. It's the Tooth of Vlad, or the Fang of Vlad, depending on who you ask. And actually these relics have um, certain passive effects that they give you, one of five treasures. The heart lets you avoid the curse, uh, this one raises your strength, your constitution, your intelligence, and I don't know what the last one does, but we'll find out. Alright, uh, heart, rib, tooth ring, so the one that we should be missing should be the... Actually, what would it be? The heart, the rib, the tooth, the ring. The heart? No, the heart is the second, not the first one we got, but... I think it's the second one you get in, in Simon's quest. Well, there's also a Dracula snail, but you don't actually get that in Simon's Quest, or this one, I don't think. Uh, oh yeah, the eye. That's what we're missing, I think, the eye. That's another one of the things that you do get in Simon's Quest. Shield potion. So we managed to defeat another challenge. Another one of the incredibly challenging creatures that Dracula sent against us, so I'm actually not quite sure where I want to go next. I guess I can explore the rest of the outer wall, but it's pretty much a very straightforward uh, route I want to follow now before I go anywhere else in the castle. So yeah, I guess I will... Yes, I will explore the rest of the inverted outer wall for now, and then I will go back to this, the work room. Okay, now their health max up. This leads to... Uh, this, this goes to the other the gallery. One that the place that would have been the regular marble gallery in uh, the regular castle, but in this one it's the black marble gallery. Here's a dim sum set. Actually, I don't think the elevator works. The elevator trick works in this room. That worked in the other castle, but better watch out for those Nova skeletons, because they can kill you dead even at this point. Oh, they do drop Monster Vile 3. Oh, let me use the Monster Vile 3 as well. Hang on. Just to show off what it does, because the description for it says it summons a skeleton ally. And sure enough, if you use it, oh, hang on. Let me get an opportunity which is not coming. Hmm, because this is actually kind of a tricky jump to make, just with a double jump. There we go. Hmm. Throw spawns in an arc that don't actually hit their target at all. Okay. That didn't really help though, unfortunately. So I guess I'll go to the Black Marble Gallery next. It should be a way to. Fairly straightforward way to get to where I want to go next from there. But the trick is actually I don't want to f uh, fill up too much of the castle's map before I get to the point I'm thinking of. And there's a reason for that, as with many other things, but probably won't even be made evident. Even after I show it. 
Now well, as you can see, there's the, this is the inverted version of the the room that's just suspended from the tower and there's no telescope this time and there's no birds going back and forth and living out their entire lives in minutes either. It's kinda lonely. Oh shit. Oh shit, now I'm trying to, you know, aim the sword like that, not do any crazy combinations for once. So let's turn into mist and go through that to get the shuttle and the hammer. I wonder if we can go around shields with the shuttle. It's an Abyssinian curved sword. You don't need to. So where the fuck do okay? Well, unless I can do all wheeled shuttles, and I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, let's let's take this very trustworthy weapon and. <laughs> To the Black Malarol Gallery, which is actually one of the hardest areas of the game, along with another one, because this is actually where the final boss is hidden, but we can't access that area quite yet, I don't think. So I might actually be using some of the cheapo spells for healing if I get into an unfortunate situation. I see the eyeball in the background has also gone. That's a shame. every candle in my path, but I just feel compelled to. Oh shit, also watch out for these things on the floor here. They actually hurt a lot, no matter what part of the game you're at, as you can see. Oh. So let's go ahead and circumvent them by any means necessary, like just flying all over the place. Get another iron ball. The fact that you can just walk into them, and of course, the skeletons don't trigger them or get hurt by them, I don't think. But can the same be said of you? Of course not. Ah, okay, you're not. And as you can see, they can knock you into the pits where those things get you quite easily. Alright, hang on. Well, because these things are here, I think I'm gonna need some. A very, very slight bit of reference to help me through without... There we go. Just getting killed by the little spike chariots. Oh, for fuck's sake. I forget it then. What's this now? It's a meal ticket. Actually, this would be a good time to find out what the fuck the meal tickets even do. It's a mystery food item, so if I use one now, to get a pineapple. If I use another one, I get a cheesecake. Oh, pot roast. Okay, so, actually, funny thing, the way you even use the pot roast in this is by... Uh, you need to equip them to one of your hands first, and then, instead of just, you know, using them, you press the button and you throw it on the floor, and then you touch it, and that's how you use that. Of a contrived system. Uh, that was pretty much done away with for every other Metroidvania. 
you pretty much just use the items from the menu. Oh my goodness. As you can see, not only... Not only... The... Bone throwing skeletons and the spike chariot thingies, but also the laser skeletons. But let us head down or up this way, I guess. Okay, that leads down to where the underground caverns were in the other castle, but in this one. They instead lead to the reverse caverns. It's, you know, very creative name. But it's a pattern that kind of persists for a lot of the inverted areas. And we actually want to go through the caverns because they lead down to, or up to, I guess in this case. They lead to a place that we need to go to to get the final one of Dracula's body parts. That's one thing, you know, they also lead down to some other very interesting stuff, but for now that's the main thing that I want to address and that I want to go after. The, the balloon pot and the little balloon hatch seed spores things. I don't know, funnily enough, her, these things are actually an enemy. This an enemy that showed up for the first time in Castlevania 3. They pretty much just we work the NES sprites to make it more fancy, 32 ish bit looking. Well, even though, you know, PlayStation was like 64 bit thing, pretty sure. I'm just gonna have that retro feel. Oh boy. As you can see, there's not really that much to- oh, Jesus Christ, that actually hurts. Not that much to say about this hallway, which is just the same thing over and over until it ends. And let's see where this goes, if it goes anywhere different. Now we can one-shot the imps with the shuttle, that's good at least. Now this- I remember that drawer that you can jump on for some reason. And here's an opal. Well, as soon as we get a diamond ring, you can pretty much get... As soon as you get any jewels, really, you can get as much money as you want if you make yourself a very special technique. Well, any jewel and the sword familiar and enough MP to do the Sword Brothers spell, which I guess I'll... I think I'll try out again here, just to... break up the monotony of this room a little bit. Uh, I needed 30 MP, so not a lot, you know. Uh, the way you do this is this way, I think. Yeah, there we go. And of course, that doesn't really help because no matter how much damage that thing takes, it's gonna. Well, let me see if I can do it like. Okay, can't manage to do it as those things were falling down. So here we go, back into the. In the reverse part of the caverns where there's actually kind of a funny thing that happens here. Well, let's fall down this up chute. And go over to where the... Actually, 
Had we been here? No, we hadn't. Okay. This is where the succubus fight was. And the... And the... Regular castle with the fake save coffin. I don't think there's anything to equate it. Or equate to it in this one though, unfortunately. Trying, I mean, that was the second attempt. Try to do the sword's special spell move while those things are flowing down. Apparently, not quite managing. Oh, there we go. Did it. Hurry up. There we go. Neat. We can still get a bunch of meal tickets from this room. Isn't that great? Well, I guess I finally found out the mystery of what the meal tickets are supposed to be, at least. I should never bother to use any of those in any previous playthrough, I don't think. Uh, there's a save room. I think this room, the fake save room was in the other castle, and the one across the hall was the real one. And in this one, it's just an empty room. Okay, I guess it wasn't. No, it was the other way around, I remember now. Well, at least they made it match up, but it's kind of a shame that, you know, because stuff like that pretty much means that uh, it's good. Like that, there's not actually as many bosses in the inverted castle as there are in the regular castle. Just fill in this one other square of my boat was missing here and then go all the way back up. I'll never try to do it with the super jump, even though I don't think I'm gonna succeed as you can see. Just not quite sure what the okay I'm kinda succeeding now. Precise input, I'm not sure how precise I need to be because it's supposed to be like up down and then the jump button, but I don't know if it wants you to press the jump button and up at the same time, or... No, it's down, up, and then jump button. I just hit it backwards, but... I don't know if it wants you to press the last two at the same time, or to press the last two, like... in sequence, separately. Never quite managed to get it just down right, but here's where the Shilla Worm was. And now, it's our double gunner friend instead. Back with a slightly improved arsenal, as you can see. He can do, well, he can do the wind smash move as the bat, but he can also do that in the first encounter. Oh, I just, I just threw the shuttle. What? I don't even know what, how I did that. Okay, I think I know how I did that. I get poisoned. Oh, I got a quick hit when I threw the shuttle. That's great. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, he just went invisible and went invincible for my, my magic bullshit move that I was trying to do. I'm trying to do okay. It's not very. It's not very vulnerable to magic because he just uses the mist for when I try to do him with that. There we go. I throw the shuttle like fucking boomerang because of course I don't work. It looks like something, I guess. I'm gonna check out all my polygons. It's probably here. Right. I tried to heal with my cheap healing spell that also hurts the enemy, but I guess I think I can help it now. I'm gonna try to go 
Ghost Count. Oh, I died. Well, you know, we found an actual challenging boss in this game. That's something we haven't seen for a while, actually. So let's skip past the loading screen. I'm sure I could come up with a strategy with all the options they give you in this game to cheap this guy out. But I want to do it with, you know, just the loadout that I was just using. And my icon is now a purple peeping eye, even though those don't exist in these games, I don't think. The closest thing to one of those is like a bluish grey one that shows up as an enemy in Dawn of Sorrow and uh, Order of Ecclesia, I think. But those ones like don't even look like the old timey peeping eyes anymore. <laughs> So let's take on this doppelganger friend. Let me throw my shuttle as a boomer and try to. It's not really working right now. Right now. There. Just do this over and over until this guy's dead. Okay. Okay, now I'll just beat you with it, I guess, since. <laughs> the first one of those damages that he did when he was jumping was just him touching himself and using a weapon. I don't think that's quite how that's supposed to happen. Oh, the wind smash does 34 damage if it actually connects. But he didn't there. He did with my attack. Well, let, me, let me try to do the wing smash. Did it possibly go wrong? There we go. I did it. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. Oh god, it does more damage every time he uses it. But... How much health does he have? Oh, there we go, I killed him this time. I sure show that guy. And because we, you know, you fight an actually challenging boss in that room, I don't think there's a follow up to the. Really the shadow worm in another boss like there was in the other castle. Just kind of come down here and I don't think you find a boss but you do find something very interesting. You can kind of catch a glimpse there of what that was. Hmm, there's nothing here, that's weird. I thought there would have been. But here we get a room full of octopi, octopuses, octopi, I don't know, dark octopi. As you can see, there's so many that they slow down the game, but... Luckily we can... ...use our very wily magical powers against them from a distance. Oh my god. There's really a lot of them, isn't there? I believe they don't die quite as easy as I was hoping they did. Oh shit, that guy's still alive. No case in point. Okay, at least they drop sushi if they actually drop something. So let's just hold the water off into death, I guess. And this is why I keep holding water. Because when stuff actually becomes too difficult, then I can just spam it like this. I got one of them dropped something, and I'm not gonna get it. I couldn't get it because this guy was in the way. Oh well. Well, we defeated almost all of them, I guess. Just a couple more over here. Oh goodness, there's another room which means they're going to respawn when we come back. Well, at least we get the Dark Blade for our troubles. What does the Dark Blade do? It's a sword forged by elves. Huh. And apparently it's better to... So I guess we'll keep this for now. Let's do wing smash. Oh shit, I forgot that wing smash has the unfortunate side effect that... 
turn back into the humanoid form after it finishes, even if you didn't hit anything. So let's just race back to the save point, because I don't want to deal with that again. As you might recall, the ceiling up here actually matches up with a floor in the castle that the regular castle that's breakable. And sure enough, it is here too. And it should lead somewhere interesting, but for now we got this blue Vina Suite, which is stronger than the other variety of Vina Suite. Or Alba Vina, as you might uh, call it. Also, there's, I think this is one of those places where the map filling out kind of works. It's kind of broken. I kind of have to explore the thing to even make it work properly. How about fucking cave trolls or chupacabras? Depending on which game, the, those monsters with the long tongues are called either cave trolls or chupacabras. Fuck's sake. Okay, can we even get close to that flower? I still try to have to use the wolf form. For this purpose, uh, and catch it from behind. Also, you cannot morph into the other forms while you're underwater. So you, well, you can't tell because you can't see what buttons I'm pressing, but I'm telling you. I think here, yeah. If you stand right here, you can't actually go up high enough to fill up that square of the map, so. So what you're supposed to do is like, stand uh, here in a place where it says hey up as it goes and then use the super jump and turn into the wolf as you hit the pick of your jump and that's how you fill up those parts of the map. Oh, and then you get ambushed by an attack that there's no way you could have seen coming. That's great. And you can jump through the floor, I see. Wish we do love these enemies. No, not quite. To actually hit, I guess. There we go. But it's time to miss another square back here. There we are. And on elixir, you know what that looks like. All the potions, the normal potions, which only heal 50 health, have different sprite but. I think the sprite for the elixir in this game, which I think heals a lot more. The sprite they would use for the regular potions in later games. So let's keep doing the wolf trick to fill out these pieces of the map. Well, as you can transform into the wolf underwater or over water in this case. What the fuck? How do you feel about this part then? Okay, if am I still standing under it? I guess you don't hear. Still not good enough. How about now? Okay, there we go. But I sure do like how well tested that part was. Oh jeez, I these fuckers. You do way less damage if they just bump into you than if they attack you with their tongue. Like that one almost did. I see another one I think I might just do the cheapo spell to recover some health because I'm kind of needing that at this point. Well, I'm gonna see all of them again anyway because I'm gonna go into the other room which has Probably another item at the end that I want. It's the Force of Echo. I think this one is that the one that lets you uh, use the Bat's Echo move as an attack. Attack with Raider Waves, yes. So I think we're missing one Mist Power, but that's pretty much all that we're missing. And 
Oh, we're only missing two relics. We're missing one missed power, and we are missing the final body part, which is the Eye of Blood. I don't mind if I do. I definitely don't mind, given how... How tricky this would be otherwise. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long is that thing? Filling out the map anymore. Instead, we have to worry about not getting murdered by these fuckers. Can we even block that with? Okay, we can block it with the shield. Guess I can do that too. Have to make another stun with the save room on my way back. We need to go to the other side of the caverns now, as you might imagine. Of course, that works. There we are. I'm gonna get a bunch more health from that plant over there. I am not opposed to this. But apparently, the shield can't block this. Or those things. Well, fuck it then. It's just. Okay. And I think we're gonna bail out of this one. Start. Feeling so great about that one. And there we have it. And now we head to the other part of the caves. Part that leads to a world where we kill those, we jape those guys in the other timeline. And as you can see, the water there is that flowing out of the wall is flowing up. We're not quite sure how the physics in the castle are supposed to affect. I mean, the water also stays up. The water has reverse gravity, but everything. Oh, Jesus, do you see how, how much damage I did? Even after I hell already killed the guy. Physics affect water exclusively in a different way. Okay, the heart locks up. Do we get anything more? I guess not. Trench has to be. It's not really fair, is it? Don't feel. Oh, there we have it. Somewhat mitigate that. That's very, very, very light. Somewhat. Uh, I think we're gonna survive this, unfortunately. Anyway, I was trying to do this again. Don't think we're gonna be used somehow. I don't know exactly what we hit to do a bunch of damage, but... Yeah, there we go again. We're gonna do some of my health and just... How did that particular one? Go through my shield, whereas... Whereas all the others... This one just doesn't do anything. I wish I could tell exactly the difference was. Okay. There we go. Jesus, get up. You know, actually spam the shit to survive and, and empty out my 
MP bar, but I just realized I did, which I just realized I did. Alright, did I... Did I actually fill out both? Yeah, I did. Both parts of the map. Right. Looks like I found a way to the other part of this cave, other side of this cave at least. Potion, that's not really gonna help me at this point, and I have your health max up. Here's a passageway to place where I can go there. Which of oh, you know what, never mind. Let's go there right now. I see nothing wrong with this. This idea. Let's go to the Oh, here's Sky One again. Yes. <laughs> Comes a normal enemy in this area, I forgot about that. You know, he was also a boss in this thing, but not particularly impressive one, along with Slaughter. We find the save point. And well, there's well, there is one other reason that I wanted to come down here before anything else. Only that, you know, the Mars there was a boss here before. There is actually another one now. Let's see how slow this has got pin brought down to another level stage. And heading to the next room here. Really now it's the only remaining non Dracula boss from Castlevania 1. So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness! Not while there's a breath in my body. Then, for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Alright then. Well, death again, who uses the old soul trick? And it still hurts a lot compared to a bunch of other stuff that we can find, but. Oh, he looked look like he was trying to do some other stuff, uh, but I guess he changed his mind. And uh, death has two forms. And I think actually this is one of those examples where. The second form is actually way easier than the first form for you. Well, for a simple reason here, you can just stand behind it and it never hits you. As long as you can, you know, attack fast enough to realize when it's attacking at least. And well, you know, death was way easier than getting to him. Or change. And there's the eyeball. We have all five of the body parts now. Let's see what the eyeball does. It increases your luck by 10 points. Alright. So that was exciting. Oh yeah, this, here's the inverted version of that one. You know, that uh, ball that opens up with the switch. So let's summon the demon again. A little demon body and see what it does. I'm ready to serve, master! Oh, that's cool. You should serve me now by going down there and having a look at that thing. Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. I am good at expressing my thoughts out loud. Right, let's see what's behind this this time. It's gonna be more of those terrible blue plant ladies. She looks like kind of sick of them at this point after that cave exploration experience. 
Mm, there's more guy ones. Well, let me summon the, the fairy one last time. See if she ever, if she's ever gonna say anything about breakable walls. I'll follow you anywhere. Do you know how to say anything else by this point? Okay, this wall here should be breakable. Are you gonna say anything about that or what? Are your fairy senses not working? She doesn't look like she's going over the wall. Hmm. Oh well. Hey, what's that stuff? It's green tea and another power of sire and life apple that's for you to use if I ever, you know. In a situation where I actually I'm in fear or danger of dying and I can't do anything about that. I can even cheat my way out. And then that might actually be a useful thing to have. Let's just keep going here. I'm not gonna go into the reverse catacombs just yet. For a few reasons, but I do want to get the, the warp point that should be somewhere over here. Hey, Bat, Bat Brothers, why are you attacking me? Don't you remember when we went into the future and we killed the evil alien warlord that was producing all those robots? In that game that was completely canon and... You know, it's funny I should mention that I wasn't trying to... Oh hey, we got the Alucard sword, which is another piece of Alucard equipment that we lost at the start of the game that, that we can cover here. So we have the yellow card mail, the yellow card sword, uh, the dragon helm, and the twilight cloak. We still need the yellow card shield and the necklace of J. The necklace of J, I know, is in the reverse catacombs, but let me see if I can remember where the yellow card shield is, because that's actually a very good thing to have, also. Oh, well, the other card shield is in a part of the caverns that I forgot to, or that I neglected to explore, I guess. I guess I can get that too. Now before I head back to the central part of the castle, because, we, you know, we can't technically challenge the final boss now with, this, with the items we've collected. Let me get the, the work done here. And then we will head back through the caverns one more time. Oops. There's the snake hat, and now we head back. And I think we can head back through another area that helps us, can help us get to the area where the final boss is a little faster. So that should be helpful. Oops. I realized it wouldn't be so easy to just fall down here. by the blue Venus weed ladies again. Well, I say again, but I don't think they've actually killed me yet. Only managed to bring me very, very close to the brink of death uh, an alarming number of times. That seemed technically a bit done. So technically haven't quite managed to murder me quite yet, but I'm not holding my breath for that sting like that. Alright. 
Alright, why do I always end up doing this move instead of the other one I'm actually trying to do, which is Soul Steel? Oh well, whatever. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, here we are. And there's another pentagram. Which looks like the other one was. How do I get that exactly, let me see. So here's a problem. Ah oh, shit, come on. There we are. I need to actually land here so that I can run against the current. I don't know why I might not be able to go. That pentagram. And here's the waterfall, which is also flowing up in this version of the castle. There's a garden tree, which... A bit more underwhelming than the other items that we found here in the other castle. Okay, there's still mushrooms here, I see. Still, I think we're going to be exact some mushrooms that we saw there before. Yeah, I'm trying to do wind smash now, of course, it's not working. There we go. So we can get through the waterfall and find whatever this is the Osaphone Katana. Not a skill as the Alucard Sword, and apparently it's two handed. Weapon Sword. No thanks for now. So I'll fill out that more map and, uh, and try to continue because we should find a way to the reverse entrance. Not very far from here and um, oh yeah there should also be another shortcut um, teleport there. One with the horse head and uh, it will also lead back to the Black Mountain Boundary which is where the castle center is. And which is where I'm gonna go, so... Oh, oh, also they can do that, which I think can stun lucky if you get caught in it. Apparently in this game they only do that very rarely though, so at least... have to worry terribly much about that one move. Didn't fight the register at least. Well, I can't register the other one yet. Oh god, there's another one of these fighters. There we go. Fox and gold. You're sitting there waiting to be collected. The other card shield, which is one of the best shields in the game, not just because of the defense that it gives. It's strong versus all attacks. But not only that, but if you use it in combination with the shield rod, then you can get it to behave in a very, very special way. Oh god. You can see these 